So, it's me, your boy, Kisam. Say, listen, I have something special for you. It's a great news. Listen, unbelievable change is about to happen now. And many will be surprised because they never believe that it will happen. <laughs> hey, listen, 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 listen. You know, many people who have never believed that there will be a change one day in your life, this moment, they are going to be surprised because the kind of blessing that God is, is what is about to give you is not a blessing that you are being favored. That one is a power. You are highly favored. Unbe unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hey, God. You know, many people, maybe many people have been, you know, thinking that nothing good will come out of you. Or many people have been expecting that only struggle, struggle, you'll be struggling every day. Or maybe someone just, you know, decided to say you are not going to make it. Believe me, this is what a lot of people have mindset. So people can say so. Without them, you are not going to make it. You are not going to level up. You are not going to succeed. You are, going to, you are not going to do this and do that. But listen and listen good, brother. Unbelievable what favor is about to do or to happen around you. God is about to favor you to a point where your enemy will be what will be frustrated just because of what they are going to see around you. <laughs> the, the blessing that God is about to release into your life is going to shock as many as they are that have never believed that you can make it. Those people who look at you and conclude that you can't make it. The blessing that God is about to shower in your life is going to fall like a heavy rain. It's going to change every history of your life. Yes, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what they have called you. I don't know what the name they have given you. But God is about to do or disappoint them. God is about to rewrite your history. With the Bible make us to understand that God said to what the angels said to what Mary. Oh yeah. Mary, oh ye Mary, you are how you are what highly favored. You know what I'm saying? Even if you look at the life of Esther, Anna, Anna was highly favored to the extent that only one child, called Samuel, was the one that was kept in a history. Why the seven others were not remembered? Listen, God is about to do or to favor you where you are blessed will never be forgotten from generation to generation where you'll be highly favored and those who are favored will call you favored you know what i'm saying so it does not matter how many people are against your progress it does not matter it does not matter how many people are not in support of what you are doing now it does not matter how many people who don't want to support you but i'm here to tell you pure and accurate what saying that God is about to bless you to a point where those who are blessed around you, those who, who people know that you are blessed, are going to call you blessed. And your, your blessing is going to shock a lot of people around you. Because they will be surprised and they will be thinking, having that mindset, how come? What have happened? Where have you visited? But keep your mouth what short. Don't tell them. Don't expose to them. Let them wonder and let them keep wondering because God is about to show you forth in their prison. He's about to do it, to tell them that he is your God, that he have never failed and he will never fail you. So listen, God is about to bless you to a point where your enemy will get shocked. Many of them have left you. Many of them have rejected you. Many of them have abandoned you. Sometimes if you call them, they don't pick your call. Sometimes because of the position they are, because of what they are gaining, because of wanting to another, they just forget you overnight. Everything you did for them, all the whole promises they made to favor you, yet they just forget it overnight. They overlook it. Some of them will be asking you, who are you? Because they were thinking that you can never rise again. 
they were thinking that you cannot be in their level. But God is going, God, God is going to bless you that you are not only going to be in their level, you are going to overtake them. The Bible makes us to understand that Elijah, Elisha, he ran more than a host that Ahab was running. And to be a king, you must be an espite. The Bible makes us to know, know that es Elisha said to Ahab, run. Run as fast as you can because it's going to rain. And the Bible said the king stepped in a horse and run heavily. And it was also recorded that Elijah took a speed with a leg to run. And he ran more than a host. Because the angels of God do what? Over, over speed him. Listen, God is going to over speed you to the extent that you are going to take over. Over everything. You are not going to step only in their position, but you are going to run ahead of them. Your blessing is going to shock many of your haters. Your blessing is going to shock many of those who have never believed. Your blessing is going to shock many of your haters. Your, what, your enemies. Those who have never believed that you can make it. Your blessing is going to shock many of them. They are going to wonder how come. So remember, blessed brothers, it's me, your boy, K. Samson. God is going to bless you. And your blessing will be unforgettable, un be unbelievable, that it will shock many. Believe it and turn up and, and drop our sign, 111. May God bless you.